What's up, Dragons? Your Sifu is back for another exclusive from Enter the Last Dragon. Today, we're going to dive into the top five drunken masters. That's right, top five drunken masters. Well, what is a drunken master? Drunken masters are anyone who practices the martial arts of drunken boxing. It is a general name for all styles of Chinese martial arts that imitates the movements of a drunk person. It is an ancient style and its origins are mainly traced back to the famous Buddhist and Taoist sects. The Buddhist style is related to the Shaolin Temple. Oh yes, we're definitely going to find us some drunk monks today. And the Taoist style is based on the Taoist tale of the drunken eight immortals. Now the drunken boxing is the most unusual body movements among all styles of Chinese martial arts. It involves hitting, grappling, locking, dodging, fainting, and ground and aerial fighting, and all other sophisticated styles and methods that you will see from every angle. We're gonna dive into the top masters from every type of genre, whether we're talking animation, gaming, movies, or real life so without further ado let's dive right in number coming five. in at number five is mortal kombat's borracho borracho though overweight is usually inebriated but he is a master who trains the earth realm's best warriors to name a few Liu kang as well as kung lao despite him being overweight he is actually Mortal Kombat's first overweight character. Also, he is actually Mortal Kombat's first drunken fist master. Also, he is an amazing fighter. Pick up the joystick and start playing. This character will not let you down. Fun fact about Baracho. Before we get into some of his special moves, his name actually is a Spanish word, borracho, which means drunk or excessive drinking. This is quite interesting considering he's a drunken master who fights with the drunken fist. He has special moves and special fatalities. He's famously known for the puke puddle. Borracho vomits on the ground and on any arena and if his opponent steps into the puddle he or she will begin to slip granting him the opportunity for a free combo he has the belly bash he has the earthquake he has the belly flop just to name a few of his special moves and fatalities but he is definitely one you must check out drunken master number five Number four. Emmanuel Augustus was uh, my toughest, toughest opponent uh, thus far, and uh, you know uh, his record didn't show, his, you know his skill set, but the guy was unbelievable. Coming in at number four is Emmanuel Augustus. He is an American former professional boxer out of Brownsville, Texas, who competed from the 1990s to 2011. He is the former IBA light welterweight champion in 2004 with an impressive amount of total fights, 78 in all. He would definitely be considered, based on his style and awkward movements, a drunken boxer just check out some of these fancy moves on some of these highlights he is definitely one to watch fun for the eyes and definitely entertaining number three coming in at number three is one of my all-time favorites it is the shaolin temple strikes back filmed in 1981 when the Manchus plot to take over China, a princess is en route to safety with her entrusted military officers. But however, they were ambushed by the Manchu general Long Yi, who proceeds to nearly wipe out the entire envoy. Fortunately, she lands in the Shaolin Temple with one of her military members, and he begins to train in the unbelievable drunken 
Fist Boxing. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. Check out the fight scene at the final of the end of the movie. You're definitely going to enjoy it. Number two. Coming in at number two is no other than Mr. Shun D from Virtual Fighter. This one is a very, very famous drunken master for the video game with geeks like myself. If you know anything about Virtual Fighter, anything about Tekken, you understand why he is definitely high on the list he is one of the OGs when it comes to drunken fighters he debuted on virtual fighter 2 and was one of the breakout characters that everyone loved to play with check him out he is definitely high on the list before we jump off into number one, we have some honorable Back in the house, young TV rapper. My man Mo's dirty bastard in the house. Right here. Still part of the Wu Tang clan. Ain't nothing changed. Drunkish indeed. I'm the drunken master style. See, nobody can ever touch me. Nobody can ever feel me. Nobody can ever say that he loves me. Yes, she loves me. See, the blessing of this dirty nigga is something real. Hit me with some lyrics, man. Hit me with some lyrics. Sometimes when the lyrics gotta come out Make a lady you wanna scream and shout Thoughts be your man, handcuffs is play Never wore other than a storm prayer To the Holy Ghost catches, I'm dusting ya Call me the neighborhood ghost buster Obviously you know my name by now Don't do Next we have on the list Mr. Rock Lee Superstar from Naruto you geeks out there in the anime world definitely know who Naruto and Rock Lee are. Check him out as he displays some of his drunken master style. Rock Lee is one of a fan favorite, especially to Israel Adesanya in the MMA world. Shout out to all my dragons out there. And lastly, have to give some to Mr. Chen, beggar so. He is our last honorable mention. But before we jump off, let's get ready for number one. Number one. Jumping right off into our number one spot, it is no other than Jackie Chan himself. And his famous character from Tekken, Mr. Lei Wu Long. These two undoubtedly have basically formed the drunken master martial arts for the anime, for the gaming, for the movie films, all of the above. Check out Mr. Jackie Chan from the original Drunken Masters as well as Lei Wu Long from Tekken, one of my favorite characters. This definitely wraps up my top five. If you like what I've stated, feel free to smash that like button. If you don't like it and feel like you definitely have a better top five, Post it below in those comments. You know where they are. And definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notification bells.
To the last dragon, your seafood signing out.